Hey guys, welcome to my second deluxe unboxing, and this time we're going to be taking a look at the Pokemon Limited Edition Gold and Silver Game Boy Color. Now, if you're wondering why I chose to do uh, this one next, um, people really just seem to like this uh, Game Boy. This is actually always one of my uh, top 10 uh, most watched videos, and uh, people really seem to really like it and they want to hunt it down, so I figured, uh, you know, it, it was worth uh, doing a bit of a closer examination of things, and in a bit higher quality. So on the front here we've got a giant picture of the Game Boy itself, as well as uh, a fairly rudimentary showing of its uh, color graphics right there. You can see that we've got a Pikachu and a Pichu on the Game Boy, and uh, it's kind of got this gold silver sheen, but we'll get to that when we get to the actual Game Boy. On the side we've got of course the traditional Game Boy logo, uh, interestingly not the Game Boy color one. And uh, down here, because this is Pokemon Limited Edition, uh, we have a whole bunch of Pokemon, a mixture of uh, Gen 1 and Gen 2. So we've got Togepi, Elkid, Totodile, Sloking, Pichu, Maril, Hoot Hoot, Cyndaquil, Chikorita, Charizard, Entei, and Unknown. And uh, that's because this Game Boy was made to co um, basically commemorate the launch of Pokemon Gold and Silver. So this came out in 2000. Now one fun little thing there is you can see that my original price uh, sticker is still on the front. So I got this from Casey's Toy World for $110 uh, in 2000. It was, I believe, very shortly after the release of uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver. But rather, unfortunately actually, that Casey's Toy World that I bought it from has actually burnt down uh, not too long ago. But uh, they seem to be rebuilding it, so uh, that's good at least. This uh, poor little box's place of origin is uh, now no more. But anyway. On the side we have basically this kind of silver background with all the Pokemon and uh, the giant Game Boy Color logo. And actually I, I kind of like how the limited edition has a little exclamation point at the end of it. But on the other side we actually have the gold side, so we get this nice uh, duality to the box. And uh, you can actually see it more on the bottom here, so we've got Pichu over on the silver side, and then it turns over to a gold uh, image with Pikachu over there. And on the top... You can see it's a similar thing. We have Lugia up there, and we have ho -Oh over there. Now on the back, we have a few different screenshots of Pokemon games running in color, which was still very exciting at this point in time. So Pokemon Gold and Silver up there, we've got Chikorita Bowling or Rattata. You've got Pokemon Puzzle Challenge, which was um, the companion piece to Pokemon Puzzle League, uh, which was an N64 game. We have uh, Pokemon Pinball, and we have the Pokemon trading card game. The last thing you ever thought would have been good, but uh, it was an excellent game. As you can see down here, Portable Color Fun. Game Boy, the world's most popular video game system, offers endless entertainment for players of all skill levels. The new compact Game Boy Color system travels anywhere. Enjoy the library of over 450 original games in enhanced color, or play new Game Boy Color games in brilliant color. Escape into a world of exciting color. Color, 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 color. <laughs> So it includes a limited edition color changing gold silver Game Boy. I wouldn't really say color changing, it's just got metallic paint. It has a full color screen display, only with new Game Boy color games. It can uh, play over 450 games, action, adventure, puzzle, sports and role playing in enhanced color. And two AA batteries are included. All Game Boy color games sold separately. As you can see by the little thing down here, for sale and use in Australia and New Zealand only, so this is the PAL version. Uh, specifically the Power Australia version. But uh, anyway, moving on, we get a little Game Boy Color instruction booklet, like you can see here. And this thing folds out like this. So, uh, <laughs> as you can probably imagine, it was a bit of a nightmare to actually photocopy this properly, but uh, you know, to get the high quality images for video. And you can see that it has the official Nintendo seal of quality, Get a little introduction to the Game Boy Color system. Uh, it notes that a few monochrome Game Boy games may not work properly when used with the Game Boy Color system. I've honestly never heard of that uh, happening, but apparently so. It actually teaches you a bit about how the Game Boy Color works. So it says a new technology, high re highly reflective thin film transistor, color liquid crystal display. Uh, it has a longer battery life than conventional backlit color LCD systems and it uh, has up to 56 colors out of a power to 32,000. That kind of sounds like a negative point to me, that it has a limited color palette, but... Anyway, and of course it mentions that infrared communication with other Game Boy Color video game systems, which was used for Mystery Gift in Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. 
But uh, anyway, it actually has then a list of components. So it teaches you all the different things that are on your Game Boy. So the infrared communication port on the top, the power indicator LED, uh, external extension connector, volume dial, operations button, etc. etc. It's a kind of a nice little layout though. You wouldn't really get that on a modern system, I don't think. We then get a description of components, so what everything does, so, you know, volume dial, adjust for volume, stuff like that. Uh, nothing terribly exciting. How to install batteries. That's the only time I've ever heard someone put it as installing batteries. It uh, cautions you against leaving used or dead batteries in Game Boy Color systems, but uh, I'm pretty sure I've done that over the years. Let's see. Number five. Caution. Do not use the Game Boy rechargeable battery pack. So uh, it cannot be used with the Game Boy Color, it only worked on the original Game Boy. Um, and it also mentions the Game Boy Pocket AC adapter, which uh, the Pocket was uh, Game Boy in between the original and the Color. Now number six, about Game Boy Color game packs. So it's got different types. And this mainly featured into things like the Super Game Boy. So basically, you've got original Game Boy games, which uh, will work on pretty much anything. You've got uh, dual mode Game Boy game packs, which work with uh, both the Game Boy Color and with the original Game Boy and Game Boy Pocket systems. Uh, so basically you've got enhanced games, original games, and you've got special full color games that only work on the Game Boy Color. Using the Game Boy Color video game system. Basically, how to put in a game cartridge. Uh, it, it's probably a little bit disturbing that you had to, you know, draw up a nice little diagram for that, but anyway. And you can also change the screen color on original Game Boy packs. I actually didn't know this. Which I guess shows why you should always read the manual, but um, you can actually apply 12 different color palettes to original Game Boy games. So it's much like the uh, Super Game Boy. So that is pretty neat. On the other side, uh, number 9 talks about using the two-player mode gameplay through the Game Boy Link cable. Which uh, I'm, I'm sure everyone will remember quite fondly, it was a very awesome thing at the time. Despite having the ease of wireless communication now, I, I still kind of miss it. There was something neat about actually having a physical, tangible connection between games. It then also talks about two-player data transmission using the infrared, and as I said, that was used in Mystery Gift in Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. And then we've got a big thing about troubleshooting. You know, things like if the screen stays blank even though the power is on. Uh, of course, the first solution is turn it off and on again. Uh, the screen appears faint, horizontal lines appear when the power is on, etc, etc. And uh, finally, we just have the warranty for Nintendo Australia. Okay, so that's that. Next, we get a great little fold-out poster. And uh, the first side of this is actually the Game Boy. So we've got uh, a whole range of the different, uh, you know, the Game Boy Pockets over there, and the Game Boy Color Systems, uh, the Game Boy Camera, the Game Boy Printer, the Pokemon Pocket Pikachu. There was lots of cool stuff out at the time. They were really kind of experimenting with different peripherals. Not that I'm sure a camera seems that exciting anymore, but uh, back then it was really cool. But uh, we also get a range of some of the best games around on the system. So we have The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX, We've got Pokemon Red and Blue, Tetris DX, which was a color remake of Tetris, Pocket Bomberman, The Quest for Camelot, Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle 3, Shadowgate Classic, James Bond 007, Kirby's Dream Land, Donkey Kong Country Land Free, uh, <laughs> Donkey Kong Country Land, Donkey Kong Land, rather. We've got Game Boy Gallery Free, and we've got Wario Land 2. So, uh, lots of great games available for the system. But then on the other side, we actually have the Nintendo 64, which for some reason is out in space, and, uh... I, I don't know what's coming out of the controller ports there, but, um, yeah, so someone sent an N64 hurtling through space, apparently. But, uh, it, it looks kind of cool, anyway. So on the left side, we get a look at all the different colored controllers, and we get a list of some of the best games on the system. So, F1 World Grand Prix, Banjo-Kazooie, of course, a favorite of mine, Goldeneye 007, Yoshi's Story, Diddy Kong Racing, Super Mario 64, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, NBA Courtside, Cruisin' World, WLA Country Club, the Golf Classics, yeah, <laughs> uh, Mario Party, Snowboard Kids, Lilat Wars, which is uh, Star Fox 64 everywhere else in the world, uh, F-Zero X, Wave Race 64, Mario Kart 64, 1080 Snowboarding, and of course The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Yes, the N64 had quite a good lineup, but uh, that's a poster. So finally, we come to the Game Boy itself. Here it is in all its 
shiny glory. So of course we've got our lovely little buttons. Yeah, it's just like a normal Game Boy, but uh, has the color screen and all that sort of thing. Got the speaker down there. Uh, on the side, of course, we've got the volume dial, like the manual said. Uh, the link cable port. We've got uh, the infrared sensor up the top there. This is the uh, this over here is where the game pack goes, of course. The uh, battery, <laughs> the battery, uh, whatever you call it, the, the backing of it, um, which for most Game Boys seems to have fallen off. I've, I've seen a lot of people that say, uh, yeah, this bit, little bit is missing. I've just got it attached with tape, as you can see. On the other side, we've got the power button, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So as you can probably see on the camera, I also hope you can anyway, uh, the paint kind of has a, this little bit of a metallic sheen to it. It's somewhere between gold and silver, and it looks very, very nice. But um, if we turn it on, this is one of the coolest things. That power light, that's Pikachu's uh, little cheek there, so that lights up. So I, I really like that detail, I've always really adored that. But uh, yeah. So anyway, here's the whole package. To my knowledge, this is a complete copy of the system. As of right now, I can't find many of these systems on eBay and haven't come across a single one that is complete. They all seem to lack the manual and poster so definitely look out for those. The one box system I did find, which I should note was in Australia, is listed at $200. Yes, unfortunately this Game Boy can get pretty pricey. So as cool as it is, and as much as I love it, I don't think I can generally recommend it to people. At least, not at that price anyway. There are plenty of great Game Boy Color systems that you can pick up for less. However, if you're not worried about the box and bits, you might be able to get a good deal. I found one loose system selling for about $70, which, while still not cheap, is significantly better than $200. That is your look at the Pokemon Limited Edition Gold and Silver Game Boy Color. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. It's really one of my uh, favorite pieces. I mean, this is my Game Boy, and I, I think everyone has that. The Game Boy really has a special place in everyone's heart. And um, it's just one of those really great systems. I mean, no nothing really compared uh, to at the time. Like taking a Game Boy to school and playing Pokemon with a whole bunch of people and uh, battling it out and trading things with a link cable and stuff like that. Uh, you know, it was a great system, great time. But, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later. And uh, we've got a whole bunch of Pokemon down here, almost enough to uh, do a little chorus of the Poke Rap. So we've got Togepi, Elekid, Totodile, Soul King, Pichu, Maril, Hutu, Cyndaquil, Chikorita, Charizard, Entei, Unknown! And, uh... Lugia, ho, -ho. Yeah!